Hey there and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Kobe Maynard returns to Manchester United training after picking up injury in a preseason. Manchester United midfielder Kobe Maynard was involved in a training with the first team squad on Monday for the first time this season. The 18-year-old traveled with the Red Devils squad on their 23-24 preseason tour of the United States but picked up an ankle injury against Real Madrid. Maino was flown back home to the UK afterwards, where further assessment of his injury ruled him out of the opening weeks of the campaign. The teenage sensation has been working on his recovery since and appears to be closer to attaining full fitness. Popular journalist Andy Mitten took to social media platform X to share a video of Maino training at Carrington with his teammates ahead of the Champions League group game against Galatasaray tonight. His return is a huge boost for manager Eric Ten Hag, whose side has been beleaguered by several injury woes in recent months and weeks. Argentina international defender Lisandro Martinez has joined the likes of Luke Shaw, Ahmad Diallo, Tyrell Malasia, and Aaron Wan-Bissaka on the treatment table and is said to be ruled out for months. It remains to be seen if Maino will be involved in action today, but he is likely to get a note to make the Premier League match day against Brantford on Saturday if he is fully fit and ready to play. The midfielder made his competitive debut in January 2023, starting in the 3-0 Carabao Cup win over Charlton Athletic, before making his league debut in February as a substitute in the 3-0 win over Leicester City. Maino is one of the most promising graduates to have emerged from the Man United Academy in recent years, and he has been tipped to establish himself as a Premier League star going forward. The struggling Red Devils need a hero right now, given their current underwhelming form in the league, and the youngster will be hungry to contribute his quota and help improve their fortunes on the pitch. Manchester United's Lisandro Martinez undergoes successful surgery. Manchester United defender Lisandro Martinez has successfully undergone his surgery. The People's Person covered a report which revealed that the defender was set to undergo an operation on a metatarsal fracture suffered last season. The problem started when he picked up the injury during United's Europa League game against Sevilla at Old Trafford. It was after Martinez and his centre-back partner Rafael Varane came off that the Red Devils crumpled and allowed the Spanish giants to recover from two goals down very late into the game. Martinez returned during preseason. However, it seems like the issue was aggravated as the World Cup winner didn't really look like himself when the Premier League campaign started. It was later revealed that he had playing while not completely fit and required the assistance of painkillers to be able to get through matches. During his presser ahead of the Galatasaray game, Ten Hag confirmed that Martinez was set to undergo surgery. The Dutchman said, I can confirm, yeah, Licha Martinez will undergo surgery and the team news is Anthony can probably return. According to the reliable Gaston Edel, everything went successfully and the 25-year-old has started his recovery journey. Martinez is expected to be sidelined for up to three months. As per Edel, the United star is not expected to play for Argentina until the turn of the year. At the moment, Ten Hag's options at centre-back include Rafael Varane, Victor Lindelof and Harry Maguire. Martinez's prolonged layoff adds to the team's problems already brought about by a dismayed defensive department caused by absences as a result of injuries to the likes of Luke Shaw, Tyrell Malasia, Aaron Wan-Bissaka and Sergio Regulon. Eric Ten Hag explains reasons for Altai Bayander's delayed debut for Manchester United. 
Eric Tanhag has suggested that the need to get Altai Bayander accustomed to Premier League football is the reason why he has not yet featured for Manchester United this season. United are aiming to get their Champions League campaign back on track when they host Galatasaray at Old Trafford tonight. Ten Hag's men were bitten by Bayern München in their opening Group A fixture. They are currently bottom of the group. Bayander is yet to make his debut for United. He was one of the players signed late in the summer transfer window. The goalkeeper is undoubtedly familiar with Galatasaray, owing to his time in the Super League with Wener Bahshi. Bayander was expected to start for his new side last week against the Crystal Palace in the Carabao Cup, but Onana surprisingly started between the sticks. Ten Hag spoke to reports during his pre-match presser and revealed why the Turkey international has had to wait a bit longer to make his bow in front of the United faithful. You will see if Bayander gets a chance to play soon, but we chose against the Crystal Palace in the League Cup to play Andre because both came in UN and both have to adapt to the English standard, so that's why we preferred Andre to play in that game. It's important for him to use every game in this moment, but yeah, we also have to progress Altai, that's a clear. Ten Hag explained that the 25-year-old had impressed during the training and showed significant improvement and progress. The United boss expressed his faith once more in Bayander and in his ability to make positive contributions to the team this season. Rafael Varane makes bold prediction about Man United Champions League campaign. Manchester United defender Rafael Varane has insisted that his side have what it takes to win the Champions League. Varane is of course a four-time winner of the competition, a feat he managed during his time in Spain with Real Madrid. The Frenchman accompanied Eric Ten Hag to the pre-match press conference ahead of United's first home game of the Champions League against Galatasaray. When asked by reporters how far United are from lifting a club football's most prestigious trophy, he responded, I think this competition is about details and you have to be efficient to win it. At the moment, in the last few weeks, I think what we can improve is to be more efficient in front of the goals. With a very low number of occasions, we concede goals and we need to create a lot to score. That's the reality of the top level. You have to be efficient to win big trophies. When asked if United have a chance of winning the Champions League, he replied, Yes, I think so. I think we have the quality in the squad to win the competition. As I said, the competition is difficult. You have to take care about every detail. But yeah, we have a team with equality, with good mentality. We have to make some improvement. It's not the start of the season we expected, but I still believe we have enough quality to compete with the best teams in the world. Tomorrow is a great opportunity to get the first points in that competition and to move forward and to improve. The 30-year-old also took time to address the progress being made by United's current crop of youngsters. He hailed them for their impact and positive contributions, especially in injecting energy into the team. Varan added that the youngsters are still learning and it's up to the more senior players to lend them a helping hand and lead by example and communicate as best as possible. He said, we have a lot to do as a leader. We have to show them and to talk with them, so that's what we try to do, and hopefully the youngster players can bring their talent and passion on the pitch. That will be very helpful this season. There are a lot of young talents at the club and hopefully they can improve the squad. Pounded warns Man United star, he is too nice and could be replaced in summer. Marcus Rashford could soon find himself out of favour at Manchester United if his dire form does not improve. That is the view of former Aston Villa and Liverpool attacker Stan Collymore, who believes United's number 10 runs the risk of being replaced as the Red Devils' first choice left side winger. Despite enjoying his best ever campaign last season, Rashford, 25, who scored 17 league goals from 35 games, appears a shadow of his former self this time around. Struggling to find the back of the net, the Manchester-born wide man 
has barely made an impact in his team's first seven games, but Collymore thinks there is very little United can do to turn the underperforming forwards form around. He said, Marcus Rashford is in dire form. His season hasn't yet started and his head is very much down. It's clear by now that Rashford is a confident supplier. He blows hot and cold with very little consistency to his game. He is a couple of weeks away from turning 26 years old. He is no spring chicken and it's very unlikely that his game is going to dramatically change. He is what he is. So if I were in a charge of Manchester United's technical performance, analysis, I would be advising Eric Ten Hag to stick with him for so long, probably another two or three more games, and if he continues to misfire, drop him. Going on to suggest the soon-to-be 26-year-old is in danger of being replaced, Collymore added, I would certainly be looking at a new left-sided winger in the summer though, I would want a player to come in and look at Rashford and say, I am taking your spot and you are never going to play for this club again. I am the main man now because I think it could be really easy to discourage and overwhelm Rashford and effectively end his old Trafford career. He is far too nice. If he stopped playing now, would he be considered a United legend? Absolutely not. Recently awarding Rashford with a new contract that doesn't expire until 2028 could prove another costly decision for United, but either way, with the player's value sitting around the £70 million mark, seeing him underperform week in week out is not really an option. Eric Ten Hag's biggest challenge this season could be finding a way to get the Englishman firing. Eric Ten Hag confirms Anthony will be in consideration for Galatasaray clash. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that Anthony will be in consideration for today's Champions League group stage game against Galatasaray. The Red Devils welcome the Turkish champions to Old Trafford today and they will be aiming to return to winning ways after the 1-0 Premier League loss to Crystal Palace. Ahead of the game, Ten Hag has revealed that Anthony is in contention after returning to team training yesterday. A final decision will be made based on the yesterday's final training session. He said in yesterday's press conference, Anthony will be in consideration, but yesterday was his first time back in team training. We have a final training, then we will make a decision. Ten Hag has experimented with his attacking options in the absence of Anthony. We have seen Bruno Fernandes starting from the right wing on a couple of occasions. The Portuguese is best suited to the number 10 role. Anthony's comeback would allow the manager to pick his preferred attacking lineup against Galatasaray. Marcus Rashford, Fernandes, Anthony, and Rasmus Hoyland are definitely Ten Hag's go to choices in attack. He could finally line up. They quartered together in the starting 11. Anthony, who is currently valued at 60 million euros, has had a tough start to his second season, but the Brazilian is an upgrade on Facundo Pellestri. Alejandro Garnacho has been knocking on the door for a regular starting role, but he may feature off the bench as both him and Rashford tend to favor the left wing. Rashford has been struggling with his form since the international break, but Ten Hag backed him to find his rhythm following the surprise defeat to Palace over the weekend. Benfica's asking a price for Manchester United target Antonio Silva revealed Manchester United has suffered their worst start in a Premier League history and also suffered an opening night defeat to Bayern München in the Champions League. They have conceded 15 goals in nine games and manager Eric Ten Hag is under pressure to change the trajectory of his team's season. The defense has been married by injury with all first choice defenders suffering long-term injuries at some point, with Lissandro Martinez the latest to be sidelined. Rafael Varane remains injury-prone, while Harry Maguire is not a part of the manager's long-term plans. Hence, the club's wish to strengthen during the previous summer transfer window. However, due to the club's inability to move on the former skipper, United ended up missing out on the likes of Kim Minijay, 
Benjamin Pavar and John Claire told you it's clear to see that improvement need to be made at the back and the name of Benfica's Antonio Silva has been doing the rounds a lot lately. Fabrizio Romano suggested his name recently while the people's person has reported that United have been scouting the 19-year-old at regular intervals. Vigaches have claimed that while United are certainly interested, the possible asking price could prove to be too high, especially if the Glazers remain at the club. The report read, Manchester United have set their sights on talented Benfica defender Antonio Silva in a bid to strengthen their defensive line. However, the main obstacle in the possible arrival of the young defender to Old Trafford is his high asking price. Benfica are not willing to let him leave at any price and have set an exit figure of 100 million euros, which poses a serious dilemma for Manchester United. United are not the only ones after Silva, with the record via sport witness, relying the information that Real Madrid are also in the race for the highly rated centre-back. The Portuguese international would certainly be United's long-term defensive general, but whether the club will outbid Los Blancos is a major doubt. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.